And welcome to Rex Finds TV. My name is Valerie Ruiz. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Tuesday, September 6, 2022. I hope you enjoyed your extra day off. Now let's take a brain break. As you can see, Jasmine was feeling left out, but she didn't express her emotions. What she could have done was talk to her friends and tell them how she was feeling. Now let's see what she should have done. Jasmine's low-key feeling left out. Oh, we're sorry, Jasmine. We didn't mean to. Oh, yeah, we're sorry. We were talking about her weekend. Oh, yeah, sounds fun. Yeah. yeah. Here, Jasmine felt left out again, but instead of walking away, she expressed her emotions to Melanie. Melanie then tells the rest of the group how Jasmine felt and then includes her into their conversation. So instead of locking up your feelings, try expressing them to a teacher or a friend. Now let's learn a new word with word of the day. Hey Joshua, what's wrong? My favorite ice cream place got hit by a hurricane, so I won't be able to go there for a while. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. The effects from the hurricane were catastrophic. Yeah, the hurricane caused so much damage. So many places had to close down. But hopefully they'll be back in business soon. Yep, and all the catastrophe will, be, will come to an end. See you tomorrow on word, word of the, the day. day. What an amazing new word. Now let's see what happened today in history with Nia. Thank you, Melanie. Patriots, today in history is about the first tank ever produced. It was produced September 6, 1915. It was named Little Willie. Willie was made by Britain for World War I. This tank weighed 14 tons, got stuck in trenches, and crawled over rough terrain at only two miles per hour. That tank really needed an update. Now let's see what's going on with school sports. Sports fans. In-person sports are finally back. Last Thursday, our very own Patriots played girls volleyball at RSAG. Sadly, they lost 16 to 14. Girls, don't worry, you got this next time. We're cheering for you. A big thanks to Angeli Walker and Nyalis Maria. Your serves were on point and also Anis Watson and Malia Simmons Isaacs. Thank you for being such a great team captain. I'm sure that there will be great victories to come. Speaking of cheering, The cheerleaders were on point at the flag football game. Our amazing boys flag football team played in Brian Piccolo Sports. Big thanks to Justin Brady for scoring one touchdown and even one point return. And even though we lost 26 of 20, our teams played it very hard and put in all their effort, especially our cheerleaders. Now let's go to Santiago for lunch. Thank you, Harasa and Jasmine. Today's lunch is chicken nuggets 
pineapple chunks, sweet potato fries, and your choice of milk. Students, please keep in mind that your lunch can change at any time. And don't forget to let your teachers know if you're going to be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Melanie. Thank you, Santiago. I can't wait for lunch. Calling all Super Patriots. Instructional software challenge is still going on. Make sure to keep completing those lessons. Your mission is to have 25 past lessons in reading and 25 past lessons in math. K through second, your challenge will be on iReady. Third through eighth, your challenge will be on Imagine Math. Patriots, please don't forget our cell phone policies. Make sure you have your phone shut down and in your backpacks at all times. Now let's see what the weather's looking like with Valencia. Thank you, Melanie. Good morning, Patriots. For today's weather, you can expect 92 degrees Fahrenheit with scattered thunderstorms. Remember, we live in Florida, so in one area it can be raining, and in the other one it can be perfectly sunny. In other weather news, we wanted to talk a little bit about mosquitoes and their bite. Well, they don't actually bite. They have this straw-like nose that they use to suck blood from our skin. After, they drop saliva that has something called anticoagulant that prevents the blood from clotting. You're usually left with a little red bump, so people think of them like bites. But really, they're just having a drink. Now let's see what's trending with Hot Topic. Thanks, Valencia. Hey, Patriots. Welcome to Hot, Hot Topic. Topic. I'm Destiny. And I'm Chanel. And here's what's trending this week. Yesterday was Labor Day. We hope you enjoy your day off to the fullest. I love spending time with my family. Honestly, I just slept. Taylor Swift announced to releasing a new album during the VMAs. The album, Midnight's, is set to come out on October 21st. She described the album as the story of 13 sleepless nights scattered throughout my life. I can't wait to hear it. But now that we're talking about the VMAs, did you know that she won the most awards? She won three awards, one for her 2015 hit, Bad Blood, another for You Need to Calm Down, and a last one for a short film called All Too Well. They were all deserved. We recently talked about the top four muscle cars being discontinued, but Dodge has some new plans for 2023. The Dodge Hornet is the first compact SUV ever since the Dodge Caliber left the showroom a decade ago. All this talk about cars is crazy. If you like Starbucks and you like ice cream, then this might be the perfect combination. Today is National Coffee Ice Cream Day. Honestly, I will make a mocha cookie crumble ice cream. I would love to make a car over and crunch ice cream. That's it for this week, Patriots. Now let's check in with the birthdays. Thank you, Destiny and Chanel. Today's birthday boys and girls are Malia Allen, Tylon Davis, Sunny Boa, Serenity Jackson, and Aaron Kelly. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Melanie. Thanks, Sophia, and happy birthday. Patriots, here are your packed expectations. It represents, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for Monday's daily challenge. Congrats to Miss Silvera. You are the only one that had the correct answers to Friday's daily challenge, which was, how many times in a day are the hands of the clock in a straight line, but opposites in direction? The answer, the correct answer was 22. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. What month of the year has 28 days? Teachers, please send your answer to pines.renaissance at gmail.com. Before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed, winners will be announced at the next morning announcements. Everyone in RPTV would like to wish you a terrific Tuesday. And remember, at Pines, we renew excellence in education. Have a good day!